Welcome back to the Movement Network with Bart, and today we're going to talk about rumor that's out there circulating the uh, the web, which is uh, Javante Tank Davis versus Keith One Time Thurman. This is a fight that is very dangerous for um, for Tank, but I also do believe that's very dangerous for Keith. Uh, why do I say that? I say that simply because if Keith Thurman does fight Tank and uh, and he loses, especially with a body shot, we all know that Keith Thurman has always had an issue getting, you know, with his body. We saw what Manny Pacquiao did to him as well as uh, Leonard uh, Bondu. Uh, Keith Thurman has a, a really solid chin, but he's always getting... Uh, Hurt to the body. Now, I won't say always, but anytime you ever see Keith Thurman hurt, it's always been to the body. Even though um, Manny Pacman Pacquiao in 2019, his last fight that he lost versus uh, the senator, he did go down with uh, with the um, with a shot from Manny. He wasn't hurt. He got up, continued fighting. But uh, Keith Thurman is a tricky fighter. You never know what you're going to get with him. Keith Thurman has power. Has the name one time. And I think it's a bad move for uh, for Tank Davis. Keith Thurman has fought uh, Josecito Lopez, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Luis Collazo, uh, Robert DeGos Guerrero, Leonard Bondu, and among other fighters. Uh, I would love to see Keith Thurman one of these days um, step it up and be more active. For some reason, Keith Thurman since 2019 have not been more active. And we do, we could blame that on the COVID, the whole thing. But Tank Davis, uh, 25 fights, 24 KOs. We last saw him when he went versus Mario Barrios, which actually he went up in weight, two weight classes for that fight. We saw him, a uh, uh, devastating blow that he gave uh, Leo Santa Cruz. My God, what a, what a, what a number, what a KO. Uh, um, Jordi Osa Gamboa, I believe in 2019, um, Hugo Ruiz, uh, Ricardo Nunez, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Francisco Fonseca. So he, uh, you know, he's he's been active, right? We all know that um, Flo Mayweather's not going to put Tank Davis in there in a fight that he won't have a good possibility of winning. Even though the Mario Barrios fight was an entertaining fight, we all know that Mario Barrios was already having issues with the weight. And he really, really, really um, went through a lot to make the 140 pounds. And now Mario Barrios, if you guys didn't know, what is going up to 147 pounds. Uh, Mario Barrios was supposed to fight someone else, but and uh, Devin Haney, but that he couldn't make the weight. You know, he was claiming that he couldn't make the weight, but I, I guess um, uh, TMT gave him a lot of money. He stood there for that fight. So uh, that's my take on that. But. Let's talk about what Leonard Ellerby had to say when it when it came to uh, Tank Davis versus Keith Thurman. I quote, Tank is not a 47-pounder, and Keith can fight his ass off. He's a guy I got a lot of respect for, but that fight I'll make in two seconds. Tank would knock him the F out right now. Trust me, if he is serious, which I highly doubt, that is an easy phone call to make. Now, um, <laughs> wow, that's, 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 that's a lot to unpack there. Um, Leonard has a lot, a lot, as he should, a lot of confidence on Tank, as he should, as his fighter. Leonard Ellerby is never uh, um, lacking confidence for his fighters. But what's interesting is what Tank Davis had to say about fighting uh, one time Thurman. I do know that he said he'll knock him the F out and all that, but when he was asked, Tank Davis said, uh, and I quote, they think I'm Superman. They think I am Superman. And I and, and I do think that what he means is there's only so much weight I could I could go up or down. I'm a, I'm only five five, five five and a half. Keith Thurman, I believe uh he's what five seven and a half around there. Uh, and Keith Thurman, I tell you, that guy, he's hes no joke. One time is no joke. One time would put you to sleep quick. He would put you to sleep quick. You saw his fight with uh, Danny Garcia. What a fight. Sean Porter, what a fight. You know, and it's one of those things that if, you know, if Keith Thurman 
It's in boxing shape. And I say if, because last time we saw Keith Thurman was 2019, so he has not been active. Keith Thurman has not been active. So therefore, and he's what, 32 years old? 30, 30, yeah, I believe he's 32 years old. So to fight a fighter that is way younger, uh, 25, 24 years old, I believe, um, uh, Tank Davis is, and that has been active, uh, what, at least in 2021 already, uh, Tank had a fight, Mario Barrios. 2020 had a fight, Leo Santa Cruz. 2019, Yoriyoshi Gamboa. 2019, Ricardo Muñiz. You know, so he's been extremely active. I think he fought three times in 2019. And, and he's consistently been fighting now. He had a problem making weight. But since, he's done pretty good. He's done pretty good. So... My prediction for this fight is a simple one. I do think that there's no way in hell uh, Tank Davis should go up. Even though a lot of people would say, well, we saw Manny Pacquiao go and he knocked down um, Keith Thurman. And Tank has way more power than Keith Thurman. But yes, I, I agree with you there. But he doesn't have the experience that Keith Thurman, that, that Manny Pacquiao has. He does not have the experience that the senator has. So, therefore, you got to be very, very, very careful. Because at the end of the fight, uh, 10, 11, and 12, you saw Keith Thurman kick it up another notch. And you saw Manny Pacquiao struggling, at least in my view. I saw the late rounds going to Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao struggling. Now, another thing about that. Manny Pacquiao has been at 147 pounds for a long time. A long, long, long time. We don't know how and if the weight is going to affect um, Tank. So that's another thing. So don't don't look back at what happened between Keith and Manny and think, well, you know what? This is an easy fight for Tank simply because Manny beat him. And Manny is naturally a smaller guy. True, but... Um, Manny is just a tricky fighter. Throws a lot of punches from a lot of angles. And uh, sometimes Tank does not throw enough punches because he throws everything with malice. He throws everything with heart. He just wants to knock you out. Where, whereas uh, Manny Pacquiao just tends to give you a little more angles. Just touching you. And once in a while landing those hard shots. I do think this is an interesting fight if it happens. But we do have to make sure that it's a fair fight, and I don't know how this is going to be a fair, a fair fight because Keith Thurman, I don't think he's going to fight at a catch weight. He's not going to go up to a catch weight, 145 pounds. No, he's going to be a full-blown water weight, 147. So, therefore, Tank Davis would have to come up 7 pounds, which is a lot of weight in boxing. It's a lot, a lot of weight. And I do doubt that this fight will take place. I do think Leonard Ellaby is just showing how much confidence he has in his fighter, Tank Davis. This fight should not take place at all, at least not at this moment. And if if Tank Davis is going to go up to 147 pounders uh, a pound, he should not fight someone as devastating, as dangerous as Keith One Time Thurman. For that reason, I do think that if this fight happens next for either one of these fighters, for, for these two fighters, Tank Davis will get stopped. There's no way in hell Tank Davis will be able to put up with the with the power will be able to put up with the physicality of, of, of Thurman, you know, leaning on him, pushing him around and doing all those 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 things that, you know, Keith Thurman's gonna do. Now I do think that, you know, through it all, maybe Tank Davis can land that body shot with that tremendous power that he has. He could definitely land that the body shot that we saw a bond do when then we saw Manny Pacquiao land and maybe Keith been out since 2019, uh, two years now, and he won't be able to get up. And I can see that happening, but it's a bad fight. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, so my prediction, again, is Keith Thurman would stop uh, Tank Davis before the 10th. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to encourage you guys to like this channel, um, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.